first things first, you need to know what you're coaching. Parkour is still a really new thing to do. It's only been around since the 80s, so there's still contention about how to define it, what it is, what it isn't. That's, those debates are still going on today. For some people, defining something gives it a clear image in someone's head. So I'm gonna use a little definition I've used for parkour. Um, I will read it now. So parkour is rooted in the mindset of self-improvement and functionality. Through physical practice, a chasseur develops themselves to be able to move fluidly through any given environment, learning and applying a multitude of different techniques, overcoming mental barriers and pursuing one's unique potential. That's just my definition I've kind of gathered from different sources and something that feels right for me. And using that as a platform to stand on is really helpful when we first start out in what the hell am I even teaching? Obviously, a huge thing to help you with understanding what parkour is, is to go and train. Go and find your local community, look online, search for friends who might wanna train with you and really engage with the parkour community. It's quite, it's quite a young thing, as I just said. So it's really worth talking to people, training with them and developing that understanding of what you're doing and what you can then coach. Researching parkour is a really overlooked area and I think that's because there isn't that much media or content out there um, that exists in the written form. I'd say a really good place to start is the Parkour and Freerunning Handbook by Dan Edwards. Um, you can get that off Amazon, it's the first book that I got um, that really helped me understand the fundamentals of parkour and it's something that I hand out to my kids during uh, coaching sessions as well to help them um, just get a grounding sense for what parkour is about. I think in a future video I'll go into more detail about different books and different media outlets that you can use to find out more about parkour and its history. So overall following these things will help you be precise and clear about what you're teaching and this is super important for confidence because you want to go into a session feeling good about knowing what you're going to deliver, what's going to come out of your mouth and that will help you feel a lot more relaxed and ensure that you know that what you're wanting to say is going to be valuable and is going to be relevant to kids or students or adults or whoever it is who want to learn parkour and want to get better. Thanks for watching this video guys, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you on the next one.